I think there are few individuals in American history who can match the charisma, energy, and drive of Joseph Smith. Uh, his ability to motivate people, abilities to connect with followers, to inspire people to do incredibly difficult things. He, he must have had a, a magnetic personality. It's in those first few years as they're trying to build this new city on the swamplands that Joseph Smith starts preaching the importance of not only families, but families maintaining a role in the eternities. There was a time up until 1840 when occasionally he would be asked, well, what about those who died before they were baptized? And his response was, God's a pretty powerful guy, he'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Where does that conversation turn to? It turns to issues of eternal familial relationships. It turns to friendships. It turns to eternal records. I think it's beautiful and I think it's significant in understanding who Joseph was as a person. For him to live with his family and be buried with his family was one in the same thought. We need a tomb, William. Somewhere on the temple plot where we can lay our family. It is amazing how important the idea of the tomb relates back to church history and the martyrdom and what happened post-martyrdom. So to me, it, it's, it's kind of an integral piece of history that almost nobody knew about. But it still remains this kind of enigma of where really was it? We know it was south. Was it southeast? Was it southwest? Was it two blocks away? Was it on the temple block? It does kind of excite that, you know, what are we going to find, you know, treasure hunt, you know, mode that I think everybody kind of has.